Hello students, I am Parvis and today I am here to teach you the story Queen Bee by Jean Henry Faber. In this story, we read the story of bees. The eggs which give birth to queens are laid in special cells. These cells are called royal cells. Jules asked his uncle if the queen know about the egg. Uncle replied that uh, she doesn't know. Uh, there is no difference between the eggs of a queen or working bee. It is the kind of food that makes either the queen or working bee. For the royal larvae, the nurses prepare a special pap, a royal dish. Wax is used in abundance for these royal cells. The queen cannot endure in the hive any bee whose presence may threaten her royal status. In spring, a loud uh, rust, uh, rustling uh, is heard in the royal cells. The young queens are trying to get out of wax prisons, but the nurses keep them in their cells by force. It seems that they say to them it is not proper time, but the impatient young queens renew their rustling. The queen mother has heard them. She drags them. Now a civil war breaks a out. Some lean to, to the old the queen, other to the young ones. The queens with her partisans makes a new all. colony. Now her own in old hive two young queens no fight. The, the more skillful one jumps on its it. rival's back seizes it where the wing joins the body and the and uh, stings it uh, in the side the victim strength stretches the victim stretches its legs and dies if a reigning queen perishes by accident or dies of old age the bees Press her tenderly, offer her honey as if to revive her, treat her with all the royal regard they give to her when alive. When they understand that she is dead, there is a general mourning and a sad humming in hold for the next two or three days. Now a young larva is chosen. The larva is fed with royal paste, that sugary pap that makes queen, and the miracle is complete.